Hi, my name is Nicole Pates. I'm a baby and kids physio from Perth West in Australia. And today I am giving you my honest opinion on these babies. They are soft play pieces of equipment from Kmart Australia. We've got the roll out the stairs and the wedge. I had a look at all the things in, in Kmart today and you know, I like to say what's sort of the most useful to pick. And for the babies from about, you know, four to five months through to um, pulling to stand and cruising, these would be my top three picks to support that development. So I'm gonna show you how you can use them. But first I kind of wanted to run you a little bit about what I do like and what I don't like quite as much about them. So to start off with, $29, $29 and $19. So quite affordable. If you're a physio and OT working in Australia like me, you would know in the past, in the old days, how hard it was to get your hands on some equipment that parents could use at home to support their little one's development. Kmart, for all the things that we, you know, talk about, it is affordable. And I really do like the firmness of these. They are quite firm. So, you know, for little bubs with reflux or sensitive tummies, they might not love it so much, but in terms of they don't compress under you. So if you stand on them or sit on them, bub doesn't sink down into them. So for example, with the roller, myself, I could sit on it like this and be working with bub or rolling around and it's not gonna compress. So it is quite firm, which is can be sometimes really good and sometimes not so helpful as well, especially for little ones that are a little bit more sensitive and, and need a little bit more softness underneath them. So that's the firmness, they're all quite firm, all of them. They are wipeable. So if you work in clinic or you have bubs that like to carry around food or chuck up on things, that's a really handy thing to have is that it's not fabric, you don't have to wash them, it's just a quick wipe down with some buff wipes or some um, disinfectant wipes or a, a warm flannel, depending on what you use at home. So they're wipeable. So that I've had a refluxy baby and there was spew going everywhere. So I really like the fact that they're wipeable and they're made out of, um, I don't know how durable it would be. I think in a home setting it would be fine. I think if you're working with them in clinic, they may need, they, uh, they may, I'm not sure how long it will take to, to burn through the fabric, but that would be something that if you do know, it'd be lovely if you could flick it down into the comments. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna be doing product reviews like this more often um, and also have some other goodies in store for you. Now, I wanna talk about the height. So here, it's about 20 centimeters, 40 centimeters, and the wedge actually matches up to the step. So 20 centimeters is quite a good height for most babies, obviously, you know, depending on their percentiles, if you've got quite a, a, a tiny little one or a really long one, it might be uh, like they might be a bit tall for kneeling play on the stairs. But for most babies, this 20 centimetre height does really well, whereas we're looking at around 40 for the foam roller. But you can see how the height and the wedge make up, which can make for a really nice movement exploration surface for when they get on the move, which we'll talk about in a minute. But I really like the height. The angle of the wedge, the angle of the wedge is about 20 degrees, and I actually really like that. Um, any more, and they seem to be quite elevated, but between 15 and 20 is my preference. Um, but some people might prefer other, other times. You can see that this is again 20, which you wouldn't use this for a tummy time wedge, like over the edge like this for a little one, because they would be too short with their arms. However, once they get on the move and start crawling, say if they're commando crawling and they really prefer commando crawling and they're not quite pushing up on their arms, this can be some beautiful um, assisted sort of risky play to move down off this onto the surface, which we'll talk about in a minute. But yes, yeah, so I do really like the wedge and the firmness. Now, let's talk about, so we've talked about what we like them. The firmness can be good and can be bad. I quite like the angle um, and it's wipeable. So they're like, some, and they're pretty affordable. So that's getting lots of ticks from me so far, Kmart. Let's see how we can use them. So for little ones that are not yet on the move, so they're just working on tummy time and rolling, I really like 
the wedge and the roller to encourage that push up and that strength through the arms, but also to give them a little bit of, you know, fun play in terms of their inner ear so that vestibular, you know, when you go on a dizzy with and your ear spins around and it goes, whoa, that's um, your vestibular system and rolling really stimulates that. And some little ones who don't get much, you know, side to side or rolling movements can sometimes be really ooh, against that. So I really like the wedge to practice that rolling. So for a little one, you know, between four and six months, you can, where's my book going on here? You can, for a little one between four and six months, you can do some tummy time on the wedge leg like this. So they're supported on the wedge. And then you can have your book here that they're there, you know, so that's encouraging that head lift there like that. And they're working up. Or if they are in tummy time and you're trying to get them to encourage them on the move, get these, oh, they do stick. Hey, I like that. I have struggled to find wedges where whirly squigs stick to. So big win there. I've got really excited. I didn't know that would happen. So you can stick your whirly squigs on here and you can, it can really be, you know, sitting behind here so they can really start to encourage that movement up. So ooh, I like that. Um, as they get a little bit older and they're working on their sitting balance, they can sit on the wedge and you can, you know, read the book together or play together on the wedge. Or if little one, you're not quite mm, trusting that your little one will fall backwards, but to work on sort of that lower, lower core muscles and their trunk stability to get ready for sitting, we can practice sitting together like this, where you'd have your wedge and you sit like this together. So the wedge just helps to lift them up and help their pelvis sit forward so they're not so slouched down. And so they could be sitting on the wedge like this and you could be reading together or, or playing together here like that. So I really like that too. Um, if they are crawling, you would have seen um, on my Instagram, Nicole underscore kids physio, the other day a mattress activity with the, the cot mattress where they're on their hands and knees here and they're rocking and they're working their way down. So you can practice some kneeling activities on the wedge going up or down as well to work on that arm strength. And then as they're really getting on the move, they can practice going, oh, that might be a bit dangerous. So you might practice going backwards off this one as well. Um, this can be a really nice height once they have figured out how to sort of turn from sitting to get into high kneeling like this. And then, you know, you'd have your little one high kneeling here and playing with those whirly squeaks and they may even pull to stand and lean on their hands from there. So that's really, I really like this. I'm really excited about that stickiness. So that's our wedge, lots of different ways to use that. Now in terms of the stairs, I love stairs. I love the layered surfaces so you can really go up and you can be practicing kneeling play here and then working into that pull to stand to reach up. You can practice crawling up the stairs so they can, it's a really nice motivator to move. It's um, a beautiful one to encourage that reach. So you could stack your tower up like this. Oh, where's my rest of my tower? And these, these are fat brain. So these, um, this little tower here and the whirly squeaks are by a brand called Fat Brain. You can buy them at Peach and Pip, which is a toy store, and I'll link a code down in the comments for 10% off. So I really love these. These are one of my favorite toys. Um, so they can be here and you can be working on crashing or stacking and working in kneeling will really help that build that strength for um, crawling and that really strong bottom and core support. So I really do love kneeling play from probably about seven to eight months onwards. Um, it's a nice one to support your little one's development. And then you can put the stairs and hit these together to go crawling up and over. Oh, I forgot to show you my other favorite one with the wedge for little ones that are not yet rolling is to be up here with them and support them. Woo! Rolling down and rolling up. So I really like that as a really nice surface. And obviously if you have a toddler, you can work on that too. And this can still be used by toddlers as going up and down and jumping and crashing, which is really fun. 
Um, the stairs can also be used as that pull to stand and may encourage some of that cruising around. It isn't very sturdy, so like by itself it's quite slippery. So you might want to shove it into a corner of the room to stop it moving about or closely supervise your little one. Now, last one of the roller can be used in different ways. So we can support, um, you can put it between these as a bit of a challenge for your little one to go up, 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 and down, down, down. I love that they're all the same height um, and down, down, down. Or you can, um, for your toddlers, work on that jumping across or stepping, um, which is really cool as a cruising surface to cruise across. Yeah, you'll notice that with the low here and the low here, if you find your little ones a little bit stuck in standing, having that different height can be really lovely to squat down through the legs. So I really like that. Um, with the roller in particular, if you find that your little one isn't very strong through their arms or is really reluctant to push up straight onto their arms, you can play some fun rolling games down and then rolling back. Well, this can just be a nice fun tummy time um, activity too. But I will say that it is quite firm and they may not like it on their tummies completely. Um, you can do it as a sitting activity together like this and you go, Oh, rolling all around in the, and that will help um, their vestibular system and their postural control. And if you have a little one with torticollis, um, you're seeing a physio, this can be a really nice one to work those neck muscles that you're targeting with your physio. And they'll give you specific directions about which way and um, which side to be targeting. So, and then you can practice, you know, reaching across the body and getting some of that core control on the roller too. Lastly, you can use the roller as a cruising two surface. So for example, if we put it there and, and your little one standing at your couch, might be a bit taller. So once they're a little bit older, is they can be here and trying to sort of reach across. And this is quite unstable, so they can't be dependent on their arms, so they will have to work their balance. And that is more, much more an advanced cruising. So using this to stand up and, and cruise around, that's more advanced, they need to have more independent or, or, or stronger postural control and working really towards that independent standing to be able to sort of cruise around this without pushing it over. Um, and if they do push it over, they will find that they, they need to rely less on their arms. So it's a good one for them. It's kind of like a little bit of risky play for the little ones. So that's, that's me for today. Um, I actually really love this set. I love it even more than I know that this sticks. It's like a gem. Um, quite affordable, wipeable, and firm. Firmness may not be the positive factor that we want it to be, but it can be too. So pros and cons there. Let me know how you go, if you've purchased them for your little ones, and if you've found, had any comments about their durability, but I really like this set, and I think I'll be using it here in my room at my clinic at Western Kids Health. So any questions, drop them down in the comments, or you can check out my website www.nicolekidsphysio.com and there is a free milestone guide so it's visual and it tells you about all the little mini milestones leading up to the big ones so you can see what that looks like and then you can get ideas about how to support that um, or I also have a developmental toy guide as well if you're looking for other toys that may suit your baby stage of development so yeah hit me in the comments and it was great chatting